Hi, my name is Henry Story, and I want to present to you how to create and use a web ID in under four minutes in a number of browsers. Web IDs are not login mechanisms per se. Usernames and passwords do fine with that, especially with browser support uh, and new technologies such as uh, Firefox Weave coming up. Once we've logged into your social network, um, uh, hub, what you'd really like is to, at that point one day, to be asked, do you want to create your web ID? Well, let's imagine this is our social networking hub. What we'd need to do is just type in a name, perhaps that would be given to us, click a submit certificate request button, like here, and that's it. The browser creates the web ID for us. We click view, and here you can see the details. What do we have? Well, this is not really what everybody would look at, but we can have the URI, our web ID, is there in the certificate. So this is not that much of interest to most end users, but while we're looking at it. Now, what can we do with it? Well, we can go to another website, click on login, and now you can see the browser asking us to select a certificate. We have a number of them. Let's select one which contains some information or which points to some information, rather. Having clicked on my web ID, I get logged in automatically, and the website knows all this information that I've been uh, accepted to make public about myself. I can click on Tim Berners-Lee, who is someone I know, a contact, see his friends, and so on. Let's see how this happens now in Firefox, a different browser. Let's go. We've logged into the same uh, social networking hub. We type our certificate name here, submit the certificate, and the browser tells us it's generating a certificate. It has calculating a public private key, sending the private key, the public key off to the server, which generates the certificate, sends it back, and it gets added to our store. So let's try the same thing now with uh, that Firefox browser. We log in. The Firefox asks us to select a certificate. The interface is ugly um, in many ways. Here we have to create a, a type of password for the local store. And what is it? We're logged in. And again, um, uh, fof.me knows our identity. Let's now try this with uh, Opera. We have all of these certificates there, you can see, for each of the different browsers. Again, we type in uh, a certificate name, though these could be generated automatically for Opera. Opera gives us more choice here, perhaps that's a little bit over the top. We then submit a certificate request by clicking this button. Um, Opera asks us for uh, the username and password for our certificate store, and bang, there you go. The server sends us back a certificate. This is all the details there. Install. Perhaps a local, a good website will uh, know which uh, browser user is using and give them some tips. So here now with Opera, we are going to try to log in to fof.me. Again, we get a list of certificates. I have a number of them. We choose one and bang, we are logged in. No username, no password in any case. In each case, the browser, the, the website knows exactly the same information. All we had to do was log in to the site with our username password. I didn't show that, it's too boring. And just click one button to get the certificate for that browser. That's how easy it is to use a web ID. So I hope this will be uh, help you uh, perhaps come up with better uh, examples than we have here and to create uh, and help us create the social web. Thank you.